I really am just kind of stopping and playing, but yesterday I tried to record this and literally my face, like, I just, I kept messing up. Um, the space on my phone ran out and I just, it was not coming together. And then I had to stop because like some window people came to fix one of our windows and it was just not ideal. Um, so I'm trying to like cram this in today. Um, I have a, I'm playing a place, I'm playing Beerhead on Saturday as I'm filming this. And then I have the Taylor Swift birthday party on Sunday. Then I leave for Corpus Christi for a few days to see my sister. And then I take off on my Southwest tour. I literally come home for one day to play at 8-11 on Thursday. Um, and then I leave the next day to go to Marfa. And I play two places in Marfa. And then I go to Arizona for about a week. And then I play a couple places in Arizona. And then I'm going to New Mexico for about a week. And I'm playing a couple places in New Mexico. And then I come home and I'm celebrating my 27th birthday at Bull Lion Ranch. So if you wanna come see me and celebrate my 27th birthday, do it. We made it to 27, now we need to make it to 28. Inside joke. Um, anyway, so here is one. I've, I've played this one at a few places before. But um, I included it because it's just, it's again, it's one of our hits and it was like, I already knew this one so I didn't have to like cram it in last minute. So here is Style. Exactly where it leads, but I I just go round and round each time. You got the cheese. Stop thinking about you and I I said I've been there too a few times You got the cheap sweet Look in your eye And I got the red lip glass Anything that you like And we're making a shit down Back every time We need it out that style We need it out that style You got that long hair
definitely a hit. That one's a bop. I love Style. I'm really mean because sometimes what I'll do is I'll play um, Style by Taylor Swift and then I'll play As It Was by Harry Styles <laughs> because it's kind of just a fun thing for me to do. It's like an inside joke. Possibly with myself. Swifties get it sometimes. They're like, how could you? And I'm like, because it's fun. Anyway, um, I love the 1989 album. Out of all the albums, I 1989 is my favorite. I have the Midnight. You can see I have the Midnight vinyl. I have also have, what do I have? Oh, I think Midnight's is the only vinyl I have. Because I have Folklore... Folklore and Lover on CD. They're with all my K-pop albums. Um, I'm going to have to get rid of my 1975 uh, vinyls, though, because I just feel icky when I listen to that stuff now. I, I'm really disappointed in Maddie, Maddie Healy. Um, I've, if you look at my Instagram, you can see I've actually been to a few of their concerts, and I used to play their stuff all the time. I actually haven't played any other stuff since that stuff came out about Maddie Healy and it was really disappointing as a fan to see but I mean that's part of growing up is learning that you're the people you look up to aren't perfect they're human and then sometimes you disagree with their views um you know I can say the same about Taylor Swift there's something she's done I'm not in incredibly excited about Maddie Healy being one of them but um yeah so I'm probably gonna get rid of my 1975 vinyls but I will be buying the 1989 vinyl because that is my favorite and now that she's re-releasing I'm like super excited. That one was my favorite work by her and I know that's kind of a controversial statement because I do have a lot of emotional connections with other albums. You know I saw her on the Reputation Stadium tour, I saw her on the Speak Now tour and then Red is also a very good piece of work but 1989 I don't know something about the vibes the nostalgia of it I just I love 1989 so I'm probably gonna be buying that album probably going to Target the day it comes out anyway I'm gonna skip to the next one now